installed a fuel oil purifier so before always uh, check the suction filter is clean and manual brake is in normal position and prior to start just follow the procedure which is displayed in the screen and what is the procedure switch on the power start the motor switch off mm function wait till the ampere gets stabilized when stabilized just press auto mode so this is what i'm going to show it as a video so this is a self ejector mitsubishi fuel oil purifier so uh, before going to start a purifier always just have a visual inspection just check the joints are okay or not and uh, you can see there is uh, no parameters so always uh, before starting uh, just this mm function should be in off position now it's on it should be in off position so that when you start initial alarms don't come then this is your purifier desludging valve it is in open position just confirm it is in open position and this is the water inlet valve just this valve should also be open position and once this is checked then what we need to do is we have to switch on the power and if there is any alarm just reset it this mm function we put it off any alarm just reset it so no alarms will be there then what we need to do is we have to just start the purifier motor we are just starting the purifier motor so initially when the motor runs it will take a very high current which is indicated by the amperes so this is the ampere which indicates the current taken by the purifier while running so you can see a marking which is a normal running current of that purifier so once the purifier gets stabilized it will come back to the normal load so when this load is achieved then it's a time that you can start the purifier so now the load is normal so again what are all the things that we need to check prior doing the starting auto start operation so very basic things just to ensure inlet outlet valves are opened steam valve is opened okay i will show you anyway so i am proceeding towards the purifier just open the sealing water valve completely this is a common valve for the sealing water and next check for the temperature setting in the gauge this is your temperature control for purifier fuel oil heater so whatever temperature you want to set the red color will be the set point and black will be the follower so set the purifier accordingly in the controller so next is your inlet valve and outlet valve for the purifier so okay this is your steam inlet valve means uh, uh, fuel oil inlet valve to the steam heater and this is your outlet valve which goes in the heater and goes out of the heater those two valves should be opened and next the valve the fuel oil valve into the purifier to the purifier and this is the uh, this is your uh, flow control valve Pr sorry it's a back pressure control valve and uh, next will be your flow control valve these two valves are the very important valve which plays a major role in maintaining the back pressure and flow so these two valves you always need to know when you are operating a purifier so this one is a three way valve so i will tell you later so all these checks are done then these two are the outlet valve from the purifier which goes to the service tank this is for number 1 purifier and this is for number 2 purifier so next is your steam line okay this is the filter the filter on the indication is in use so always uh, as i said earlier make sure the filter is clean before starting the purifier and uh, next is your steam inlet valve it is opened and again the steam outlet valve should be also opened so these two should be done so so once we are done with all these things then we can go and 
do the auto start for the purifier so okay we'll do that okay. our fourth engineer is waiting so now we are going to do the auto start just go to the panel and what do you need to do is auto start press auto start you can see the water sv2 sv2 is a closing water sv1 is a opening water sv3 is sealing and sv4 is the feeding water the this it will be done as per the sequence so once that is done next uh, what you need to do is you can just check whether the desludging is happening or not because initially there will be a desludging happen so once the feed is done once uh, desludging is done then the fuel oil feed will be go to the purifier this is the you can see a green light is for temperature and this is 44 degree temperature and next will be l l is your pressure and you can see uh, this is your three way valve which is pushing the piston down that means the oil is flowing inside the purifier it is not bypassed so you can see a uh, l l dot pressure that is if whatever indication is the value suppose indication is green color temperature that is 44 this is back pressure this is 0.158 will be the back pressure and uh, same nothing much so i believe uh, this video must have given you some information about how to start a purifier so once you start the purifier you can open the inspection plug and check whether any leakage is there or not just you can see we can, but uh, beware of don't keep the face so close sometimes if the leakage is there that hot oil may spray on your face so be very careful okay that's all so once that is done put the mm function back to on that means the alarm anything if it comes it will be reflected in the panel